Seconds away from college football in Birmingham, Alabama. Lugo's kick. Fielded by Andre Wilson inside the five. Across the 20-yard line, Wilson across the 25 to the 29-yard line where the Blazers will take over with him a shotgun formation. And the first down give goes to Brown. Sweeping left side, breaking tackles, finding a hole across the 40. Nice gain of 15, maybe 16 on first down for the sophomore from Kimberly, Alabama. Sends three wide outs right this time, but will tuck and run himself. Erdley shows his toughness and gains another first down inside Savannah State territory to the 45-yard line. And so is Andre Wilson, for that matter. Athlon named him a breakout player possibility for UAB. Here goes Spencer Brown again, off left side. Near the 30-yard line, that's three straight first downs for the Blazers as they mow it down, another gain of 14 yards. Blazers with a second and eight on the opening drive of the 2018 season. Delayed give goes to Jerry and Street, left side, cuts it back across inside the 25-yard line. He'll get the 23 for a gain of five. Manhandled the Tigers, and they showed it early. On a second down and seven, play action fake for Early. He will throw inside the 10-yard line. Caught Andre Wilson is the man who sidesteps the defender, barrels his way inside the five to set up a first and goal for the Blazers. As his first of the new season. On a first and goal for Early, Spencer Brown will get the chance and will step into the end zone. Touchdown, Blazers. Just a lot of strength. You, you really see a difference in the way this offensive line looks from a year ago. Student athletes here tonight. Nick Vogel will do the honors and tee things off, driving Savannah State back into the end zone where Jamichael Baldwin, Eric Rayburn, and the Tigers, and it's T.J. Bell, the redshirt sophomore, who on first down gives it to his running back, Jalen McLeod, and he goes nowhere. That big defensive front for UAB steps up to the occasion. Success. McLeod was split wide, now steps back into the backfield to join T.J. Bell, who runs for his life and throws into traffic and could have had it picked off. It falls incomplete. Will bring down, bring up fourth down as T.J. Bell just threw it up for grabs. Offensive line. Roof opening holes for Spencer Brown, who gets a second straight carry and has another big hole. Drives to the 30, 35-yard line before Donald Rutledge comes up from his free safety spot to make the stop. And now Brown again on a quick pitch left side, trying to get the corner. Nice pursuit by the Tigers this time around. His strong safety Benjamin Isaiah Brown. Bennett is there. Carrying the ball. Third and six. This might have been where the Blazers were best last year. Led Conference USA 18th in the country in third down conversions. And they get another here as A.J. Erdley stands in the pocket and fires to an open man for another Blazer first down. Third and nine it is. And Erdley with trips to the right side. Has time, steps up, is hit from behind, but still got it out. Lisa makes another catch across the 40-yard line, has the first down, and out of bounds at the Savannah State 35. Into the pocket and completes the pass. Took a big hit, but again shows his toughness. And he'll try to get by here, but no, stuffed in the middle. Savannah State does a nice job of plugging that gap. Saw him fall scrimmage a year ago, put his shoulder down, left with a stinger, has it intercepted, tipped, and picked. And you just can't get down in first and 15 deep in your own end after a turnover. Gibbons, the sophomore from Stevenson High School, Stone Mountain, Georgia. On first and 15, the southpaw winds up and deals and hits a man for the first down and more across the 30, near the 35-yard line. Do everything guy for these Tigers over the last year plus. Here's Gibbons on third and long. Fires, and it's incomplete over the head of the intended receiver tight end Stavian Stevenson. Well, he funded 29 times a year ago, split the chores with Williams and averaged over 40 yards a kick. And this one a good, driving Andre Wilson back inside the 20, but a chance to return it. And good coverage by Savannah State. Football comes out, say the Tigers. Officials in stripes and his crew gather together and get it right. And now T.J. Bell on for his second possession of the night and he goes nowhere he's wishing oh. Devon Gibbons had taken that snap and look to get the football back on a third and 28 TJ Bell will keep it on the ground this time McLeod will drive inside the 45 near the 43 and I would guess they bring on Giovanni Lugo and the Blazers convert on third and seven early to throw with time Flush from the pocket, will roll right. Now will tuck and run. Look at the marker around the 28-yard line. Very, very close. 
will depend on the spot here. Will open up from their own 20 yard line and the lefty Devon Gibbons will throw over the wrong shoulder looking again for his running back Jalen McLeod out of the backfield solid coverage for UAB and Garrett Marino and that means that guys like Bronte have to step up Tigers looking for their first third down conversion of the night and they will not get it here Devon Gibbons trying to get away but a long one here on third and 11 early with time steps up throws his man is wide open caught right at the mark big game for him went on the road the backfield finds caught breaking a tackle and getting close to the first down marker Jerry and Street checks in for Brown the single set back to the left side of Erdley who has time rolls to his right throws and got his man caught again just beyond the 40 yard line it's Colin Lisa who comes up with the catch for another UAB first down first and 10 from the Tiger 38 yard line Jerry and Street Gets a carry straight up the gut, running behind Dufour, the center, flanked by Cook and Johnson, the guards. A gain of four on first down. I didn't stay near home in Birmingham and bring the thing back. Second down, looking for running room right side. Rashad Saxton, a second straight carry out near the 30-yard line before this UA defense swarms on him. And then the flanker or the wing back over to the right like that. Logan Scott, Hayden Pittman both in as tight ends, and that's where they'll run street very close to the first down marker but speaking of markers there's a yellow one on the turf Tigers still looking for their first third down conversion of the night oh for four oh. and this one picked off look out nothing but green in front of him it's a pick six for Chris Wolbright and the UAB Blazers fun to see I think it's awakened a, a sense of pride that maybe wasn't there Here's Devon Gibbons to keep the ball this time off left side. Nothing doing there. On second down. Gibbons has a man wide open and it's intercepted. It is tipped and intercepted. That ball was right in the hands of tight end Stavey and Stevenson. Spring game and looked pretty good, but once they got so much depth there, they were able to move Donnie Lee to tight end. Here's Brown breaking tackles. Running inside the 26-yard line, another first down. Pulls much of himself to the tackler. A first and 10 from the 26-yard line. Early to throw, got his man, that's caught near side. Stepping around the 10-yard line. Play clock dwindling. Early gets the snap off just in time. We'll look for the touchdown, far corner. What a great throw, and what a great catch. A.J. Early to Andre Wilson, touchdown Blazers. Well, as the quarterback, everyone else draws the five-yard penalty. And now T.J. Bell to throw in and out of the hands of his intended receiver. He had Zar Benneby. Head coach couldn't ask for more. Here's A.J. Early on first down. Fires and what a catch by Colin Lisa. The fifth year senior goes up, stretches out, and hauls it in for a first down. It's five, maybe six to bring up a second and four. And Early running the hurry up. He finds Lisa again outside. What a move by Lisa. And they let him get back out there with a clear head. Early to throw. Nice move by Derry, Jerry and Street to come back and make that catch. Twisting turn. Got and Lee, the two tight ends set up right side. Brown will run off left tackle again, but he stood up. Nothing doing there. Might have got it. Second effort. He did. Second effort will get him in. Spencer Brown has the rushing touchdown. His second of the night. And the Blazers tack on another. Two snaps, 40 total yards for Savannah State. That's 1.8 yards per snap and here is Rashad Saxton trying to pick up some big yardage he found the corner turns it up field take guys keep them fresh got a glimpse of the helmet sticker on the back of the UAB helmets this year we'll talk about that in the second half tonight here is Devon Gibbons who rolls to his left lack of focus for just a brief moment cost you another five Chandler Williams has had three punts tonight for Savannah State now Giovanni Lugo nice gets punt. his third as well on this one End over end will allow Andre Wilson to return it. He crosses the 10, breaks a tackle at the 20. Coming near side, look out. He gets the block. A flag behind the play as Wilson streaks down the left sideline. No one will catch him. Touchdown Blazers pending the yellow hanky, which litters the field here at the 25-yard line. Well, and the shame of this.
going to be behind the play. Oh, yeah. From A.J. Early, and now Early's just going to take a knee. Final 18 seconds will tick off here. On third down. Finally, a third down conversion. Wow. Looks like it'll go for Savannah State. Pair of wide outs to either side. He'll look to throw, goes underneath. That ball is tipped, but incomplete. Not sure it was intended for Jamichael Baldwin, but he tried to put his hands on it, bounces off his fingertips, and falls incomplete to bring up. Opens up the first second half possession for UAB and starts it with a swing pass near side. Kendall Parham has it and will sneak across the 35 yard line for first down number 20 on the night for the Blazers. Arian Street is the single setback for Early on second and 10. With time, he'll step up, throw, and caught. Colin Lisa. What a good looking catch for Lisa. Of injury that yep. timing to get that. Second down and five, Early to throw. Lisa, near side, does the toe tap and got down at the 34-yard line. Make it count. Don't just stick a hand out there. Make it a true fake. Here's Lisa with another catch. Tried to stay in bounds and step through. Second leading, in fact, a year ago, he's able to just bounce off and get through. Tops the Tigers with nine stops tonight. Here's Erdley to throw. Got his man. Lisa diving for the pylon. He's in there. Erdley to Lisa. Touchdown, Blazers. Go to Miami, the university. Yeah, and, at uh, Miami. Yeah. Then at Howard, then at Florida A&M. Oh, what a run and a big hit. A perfect group of five. They've got to get by Oklahoma. And saw today Lou Holtz saying, don't sleep on that game. Jalen McLeod drives straight forward. The sophomore from Jacksonville, Florida. Set up looking nice and it happens. Thing you know you got to go back and fix it. Indeed. Here trying to tuck and run is Devon Gibbons, but nothing doing there as he's brought down in open field. Nice tackle by UAB's strong lower body. Well, and you know he's a quality talent if he started his collegiate career at Michigan. To document that here, Scott, please. Uh, it's just part of growing up, it being is. a parent and being a kid. Well, and you just love to see a guy get a second chance. Here's early going home run ball. What a catch, hauled in. Xavier Yubosi makes the catch inside the 10 yard line. A huge pickup as early. Third and goal from the six. Will play fake, wants to throw, right side looking. Buying time, now fires, and it's incomplete off the hands of Logan Scott. Nick Vogel on for his first field goal attempt of the night. Left hash mark from the 14-yard line. The 24-yarder is up and good. Yards rushing now with 102 yards. And now Bell to throw, dropping back, and throws it behind his intended receiver. Brian Novick, another one of those guys from 2014, starting at right tackle now. Play fake. Johnson will keep it himself. Tripped up, but he keeps his forward momentum going and falls right at it. Run that you just kind of stumble over your own feet. <laughs> Trying we to control the enthusiasm. We saw the broad shoulders of Andrew Smith Jr., who's in now at center. David Galton, who's in at left tackle. And James Noble earns another first down for UAB. Well, the other side of the ball. Tyler Johnston will go here. We have not seen the new fair catch rule employed here tonight. NFL makes it now to where you can't get a running start. You can't, yep. you can't do the blockbuster thing. Yep. Yep. Got to change the way you're doing that. Tyler Johnson's first attempt of his career is a good one. Complete downfield for a big pickup hauled in by Justin Walker. Johnston put it right on the money. No nerves there. 37 yards on the hookup. And now driving straight oh. forward and into the end zone is Lucius Stanley. Stanley looking for his first touchdown of the season, but a yellow hanky on the turf. And a Tiger on the turf as well. Yes, injured Chris Savannah State. Smith, one defender. of the freshmen. It's offside again against Savannah State. The touchdown will hold. Looks like uh, McLeod's going to try to stay in. Gibbons behind him. Setback is D'Angelo Durham. And Durham stretched out. To the 36 yard line. Dad used to say, if you know you're going to get hit, you might as well catch the ball. Is it? Uh, not the issue there with Stevenson, just a great defensive play. A 
on the quarterback keeper off the play fake. That's a nice run by Devon Gibbons, the sophomore from Stone Mountain, Georgia, works it across midfield. He's got himself a first down. Thompson High School won a state championship last year. Once again, D'Angelo Durham gets the carry. The night, if he doesn't throw it up a little bit, it's going to get picked off. Tigers one of 15, and here comes a sack taken down back at the 42-yard line. Great pursuit by Kylan then. But showing off the legs there. 25-yard scamper for the redshirt freshman, and he'll quarterback draw again across the 40, 45-yard line. Very close to another UAB first down. Blazer offense in relief of A.J. Early. Blazer starter. He'll be uh, moving up the depth chart. Noble with another carry, left side. These guys in green and gold right now. This isn't junk time for them. These uh, these snaps could produce more opportunities for them later in the year. Taylor, Tyler Johnson the third breaks away again. Another long scamper for the red shirt freshman. Step or even think about taking a half step to the inside, and it opens up enough room for you to get the big gain on the keeper. Three rushing touchdowns already Look on the that. night, and James Noble has number four for UAB as Noble cashes in. He wanted that. He's been wanting it all fourth quarter. I think a lot of Blazer fans, at least, would say the Blazers could have and should have won. It could have been a 10-win season for this UAB program a year ago, streaking down the right sideline, trying to break away for Savannah State. Safety was blitzing. And here comes another blitz from the defensive secretary. That's actually a linebacker who comes in and forces Bell to throw it away. It'll be a big one. Yep. UAB drive straight forward. Non-conference includes Vanderbilt, Georgia, and Kentucky. Hmm. They're trying to win the SEC East. Another give straight ahead as the Blazers work to. It's going to take a little while for me to get used to seeing him on the sideline at Kyle Field. $75 million. Yeah, I think of Jimbo, I think of Dope Campbell Stadium, but really, yep. they were hosting shorter college tonight. Triple zeros on the clock, and the Blazers can celebrate. It's seven straight here at Legion Field as UAB takes the season opener 52 to nothing. An impressive performance by head coach Bill Clark and his UAB Blazers.